Come in. Hello, beautiful. Paul. You look surprised. I just found out about your trouble and I had to see you more than ever. Oh, I wish you hadn't. Look at me, June. Why couldn't it have been you to tell me? Seems I was the last to find out. Did you think it would make a difference? I didn't know, Paul. I tried to reach you every day, but you wouldn't answer the phone or the door. Then you sent word to me that you didn't want to see me anymore. I didn't know what was the trouble and I couldn't find out. Why couldn't you have just forgotten me? Or even hated me, Paul? Why did you have to come back? It would have been so easy if you'd just hated me. Hate you when I love you so much? Then you still love me, Paul. I'll always love you. I wish you didn't. You don't really wish that? No. I guess I don't really. But why did you have to come back, Paul? Because you need me and I need you. There'll be someone else. Later when... No one can ever mean as much to me as you do. Oh, it's easy for you to say that now, Paul. I say it now and I'll say it forever. I think you will, Paul. Of course I will. June. Will you marry me? No. I mean it, June. Won't you marry me? No, no, Paul. I couldn't do that to you. Oh, how can I explain it? There's nothing to explain. I don't care what happens in the next couple of months. I love you, June, and I want you. I want you as my wife, even for the little while that's left. Oh, please don't say no. And in two months? No, I couldn't do that to you. June, can't you see what you mean to me? I know what to expect. You know what to expect. But do you realize what it means? I don't get you. Four months ago, I was given six months to live. Four months of that six are gone. Two months. Not much time left, is there? I don't really mind. I've lived a rather full life. I've done most of the things I ever really wanted to do. I couldn't take it if you were any more to me than you are now. Oh, don't you realize? In two months, June Drake will be dead. Oh, please forgive me, June. It's all right. Just remember me once in a while. One moment we're happy and the next... Well, I know, darling, but I'm more happy now than anyone in the whole wide world. You know, some people seek all their lives for happiness. I found it by just sitting in this room waiting for death to take me on. At first, I couldn't believe it. I could see death's dark figure lurking in every corner. Feel its fingers digging into my shoulders. I hated life then. One day, as I was looking out of the window, I realized the sun was setting. The radiance of it suddenly thrilled me. The life of that day was passing. But it wasn't really gone. Just passing away to return again another day. When I leave this world, I too will go on to another. One more beautiful and more forgiving than this. It will be beautiful there. I must leave you behind for a while, darling. But one day we'll meet again. I know we will. And I am happy. Real happy. Oh, why isn't there something I can do? Would you really want to do something for me, Paul? Name it. I haven't been out of this room for four months. Now I want to leave it. Will you take me out? Of course. Dinner, a movie? No, I mean really out. 
nightclubs, dancing, Chinatown, maybe the village, all of the interesting places. Oh, I know I'd enjoy it. Oh, darling, why do you torture yourself? You know the doctor says any excitement may hasten the end that much sooner. I don't care. What difference does it make? Now or two months from now, get plenty of sunshine, diet, rest. No excitement. Perhaps you may become strong enough to overthrow the infection. Those are the doctor's words, you know. I ate properly. I bathed in the sun. And I have rested. You just asked me to marry you. What do you think the excitement of the wedding would do? Forgive me, darling. Oh, Paul, please. Please, you've got to do this for me. You're the only one I can turn to. Do this one last thing for me. I'm begging you, Paul. If you love me, you will. Please don't put it that way. Don't torture me. Don't you see I can't? Can't you realize I want this one last fling at life? One more happy night? Or is this too much to ask? I'm sorry. I wished I could. I'm sorry, too, Paul. Goodbye. You horrible room. I will go out. I'll go even if I have to go alone. All right, come in. My, don't we sound inviting tonight. I'm sorry, Renee. I'm just a little upset, I guess. Well, take it easy, kid. You shouldn't get upset. What's wrong? I'll show them all. What in the world do you think you're doing? I'm going out. Well, I've been telling you these past few months, you should go out once in a while. Get your mind off things that are bothering you. When you locked yourself up in this room, seeing only me, I told you it was all wrong. I'm glad to see you're finally coming to your senses. A dinner and a good movie is just what you need. Why must everyone recommend a dinner or a movie? I'm going night clubbing. My resting days are finished. June, don't be ridiculous. You know what such an excursion would do to you? Why, your heart wouldn't last an hour in your condition. An hour? Ten minutes? Two seconds? I don't care anymore. It'll be fun while it lasts. You're over 21. But... Well, I wish you wouldn't. You've been a real friend, Renee. And I appreciate it. But this last chance I must have. I did ask him to take me out. He refused. Paul? Did you see him? When? He was just here. It's a wonder you didn't meet him in the hall. He left just before you came in. He loves me, I guess. I can't blame him for not wanting me dying on his hands. I know that's why he didn't want to take me out. Don't be ridiculous. Paul never thought anything of the kind. Oh, didn't he? No, he didn't. He isn't that kind. He loves you. Why, he's been eating his heart out these past few months trying to get in touch with you. He never knew your condition until I told him. Yes, I told him this afternoon. I couldn't bear to watch him feeling the way he does. He'd rather be near you, June, than live. He worships you. And if he wouldn't take you out tonight, it's because he doesn't want you hurting yourself. I know, Renee, but I was so disappointed. I love him. And I did so want to have this one last night with him. Of course, I know how the night will end. But I wanted him to be with me. I could have taken it all so much better. I wanted this one last night with him. Come on, take your bath. You'll feel better. I feel so wonderful. Better than at any time in my whole life. Except maybe my high school graduation. You are very beautiful, June. And you must go out? Yes. I must go. Well, if you must, you must. I better be leaving now. 
Why can't I go with you? Well, tonight's your night. All yours, so make a swell night of it. Thanks, Renee. Goodbye, June, and good luck. Goodbye. Wonderful, Renee. to think. Yes, Paul. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I changed my clothes. I thought you might like this. Oh, Paul, you're a darling. <sighs> Where to first? The village, all right? Village it is. We almost made it. Didn't we, darling? 